Hi there and welcome to this talk on using digital for recruitment and marketing. This talk will be split into two videos. The first is about searching people, finding your, uh, your details about your site via Google with hashtags and general search techniques and this might help you find videos of your site which themselves might have hashtags and those videos can be embedded in folk festival websites and there's this circle this virtuous circle which can very much help people find your site join your site this talk will be focusing on the discovery second talk on exploiting video my name is Brian Kelly I joined the Kingsman in 1978 and since then have been with various sword and Morris sides. In my professional career, I set up the first UK university website in 1992, spent 17 years as a web advisor to universities, and I attended a conference when Google was first announced. You may have heard of Google. There's my email address there. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch about you you've signed up for the workshop and it's good to see participants from the three main morris organizations you've also expressed interest in a number of other topics and potential workshops some of these have some overlaps with these talks with this talk and i might touch on such issues as i go along so what will i cover be about how a range of digital technologies can be used to support your side recruitment of new dancers and musicians, including recruitment of those from a diverse range of backgrounds, interests and concerns. Also to help sides appeal to potential event organisers without the need for you to have any significant IT expertise. We do the techie stuff, we've done the techie stuff but we need you to supply the content. Some misconceptions. Some people think you just set up a website, Facebook page, a YouTube channel, Instagram. You have a nice promotional video and everyone will find it and join us and then are disappointed to find that doesn't happen because there's a need to understand and exploit the network effect. I'll not go into the details, but just to say networks benefit from scale and size, which helps the discovery of collections. And by this, I mean centralized collections such as find all Morris Fed videos on the Morris Fed website or distributed collections, all the resources which are tagged with the hash Gostum Gallopers hashtag. Now, this is very much based upon my research activity when I was working. So in 2012, this was a blog post about a paper I presented about how to use the equivalent, what was described as Facebook for researchers to enhance access to research publications, primarily by investigating linking strategies. And because this was a research paper, I had to provide evidence so these were the number of downloads of research publications in the University of Bath repository. And as you could see, my papers had had over twice as much as, the, as this group here. Andy Ramsden was a friend and was in an office a few doors along from me. We had we demonstrated that this was the case back in 2012. And since then, many researchers know about the importance of this. But when I joined the Morris Fed as a volunteer, Pauline, the president of the Morris Fed, to paraphrase her, can you get the Morris Fed team profiles to the first page of Google? And the answer is yes. Do a Google search for looking for a friendly Cotswold, mixed Cotswold side in Dorset, and out of two and a half million results, while Morris is there job done. Now, what I'd like to do is for you, you all to have similar opportunities. There's another Google query looking for a Morriside near me. In this case, with 414 million results, we find the Morris Fed, the Morris Ring and the Morris Fed in first and second places. And so after this, you do a, a search, you might specify genders and practice days and whatever. And then 
get a range of options and then you click on your ones of interest you read the profile you see the photos you watch the videos and then hopefully the person doing that will get in touch and say I'd like to join so these are important search queries which will provide team finders which will take people to a profile so these profiles are really important I should now say that this was based on an incognito search and so it doesn't remember my previous searches how Google ranks results very simplified you have control over the content the words on the page you manage this but there are other things that you have little control of um, but these are important and this is the very complex issue of search engine optimization which I'll not cover but what I did look when I looked at the top Google searches for the Morris Fed website over a period of year you'll notice them fifth and sixth place were basically related to Morris Federation side finder Morris dancers near me and, and the like so we know this is important this is what people are looking for and why is the Morris Fed team finder valuable it's because it's a large website with many links to the website and this will boost the ranking on Google for content here so this is good so we have a great website but we need content we need the content that you provide now when I joined initially there was very little content there was just this boring contact information but nothing which would say oh I must join this side oh look they're really interesting no no real content but shortly after I joined we were able to add some new information and so I wrote that first brief sentence two sentences there and some here and then a bit later on I added something which would def differentiate well Morris from other sides by saying about a weekly YouTube show which proved very popular at the time and then earlier this year I added something so sides could have their a hashtag and also factual information when they were founded location summary of kit etc and then after giving a workshop earlier this year some of the people who attended the workshop decided to add longer information and this is really great so we have these are the five sides with the longest information and if you do a search for Google for look for a lively border Morris side for Lincoln Festival this will be number one so this this works and if you look at this this is fantastic Bochy Morris are Lincoln's finest mixed border so a brief summary there a bit about the history a bit about border let's not forget the music is important what we do and if you want to come along come and join us so that is a really great example I have a look at it one thing I noticed was they mentioned not only the based in Lincoln but members come from other places and we're in near reach of other places and if you do a Google search looking for border Morris sides near market raising there it is 280 million results it's there at the top we have the evidence that this works so based upon this my suggestion is your profile link should be between 50 and a thousand that's 500 so maybe twice as much as this 50 well there's 56 words so I'd suggest that as a as a minimum but this to me strikes me as an ideal length but what do you write about Poacher Morris wrote this and I think they decided that was good good for them but what do you write about you could say we welcome everyone but to be honest I'm special I'm special I'm different from other people are you welcoming to me so there's a process called use of user personas to help in the creation of content in which you focus on particular individuals you picture this individual Jane retired moved to a new town wants to engage in local authority uh, activities and get to know people and this is really the background of that sentence that I wrote about two years ago for Wild Morris 
Another might be Hillary is an interest in local history and intrigued by the name. She potentially not interested so much in dancing, but maybe she wants to come along and maybe write an article about the side because it is of interest. You notice neither of these things are focusing on the dance because not everybody wants to come and join solely because of the dance. For Jane, the alternatives might be a local keep fit group or a local walking group. But this is focusing on her interests about a bit of exercise, getting to, getting to know people and the like. Other example, there might be a, a folk who knows about the dancing, but is worried about how it's going to get to practice. And Pump House Clog Morris got a great example there of how to get to, to practice. And they were all real examples that are taken from profiles. Here's a fictitious example of somebody who's worried about whether he could afford to join a side, no subs to be paid during the first year. So that can help in the content planning, as can hashtags. About 80 Morris Fed sites have a hashtag in their profile. Here's an example of how it could be used. Pump House Clog Morris. All they need to do is to shout out uh, to people taking photos and videos if you liked us and you want to publish your videos your photos just tag it with this tag and this will take people to three results here we have the website facebook page some images and then the facebook the morris fed profile and you'll notice all both of these provide key key information active sentence we are we do this we are based in such and such we are friendly that's great that's just what you need to do and we have a page which has the 80 or so side with the hashtags and if you click on those hashtags you'll find out resources on google and Facebook typically this will have the Morris Fed profile very much on the first page and then uh, photos and video resources that many other people will have provided so that's a quick way of finding out what people are saying about you and the photos they're taken using a hashtag everybody welcome really um, so this Glastonbury border Morris great sentence uh, statements I'd fully endorse that but this words can be supported by images and videos and there are value in working with like-minded groups and here's an example I'll just leave that on display for a few minutes and ask you what impression did that photo make can you remember the context can you remember the organization that was fe featured that was only displayed for five seconds which is typically what people, the time they'll spend on social media. We we'll need to think, remember this in the next talk about video. But I'll just go back. So we have links with uh, another organization. The other organization is giving links to Facebook page and the website. For the site itself, this is a nice poster with, you can get a feel for the site. It's, mixed and the like and it's got the name nicely designed with this bright yellow uh, text and the like so that's a good example i would say of the type of poster media which can help and not just provided by the morris side itself but also related organizations it could be pride in this case it could be local pubs it could be local businesses and, and the like and they can help to promote your site so there are these two-way relationships which is really really valuable but going back to looking on google looking for a morris side near me and you come across these things imagine the person who doesn't know much about morris and there are these things here called a morris ring what's a morris ring is that like the magic circle or something it sounds a bit strange and a federation it's a bit star trekky um and then team finder if i've got to go there i have to search by team gender or maybe i'm a bit uncertain about gender type issues and dance styles i'm going to be quizzed about dance styles i don't know about dance styles i just want to do some morris what's this and evidence shows that people don't use advanced searching look at it i'm just simply looking for a morris side near me 
If I was looking for a restaurant near me, I wouldn't expect to fill in it forms with options about I'm a vegetarian, any allergies, blah blah blah. I just want to find a, a restaurant. But look, there's maps. So if you click on this, and there we have it. This is what I want. Looking for a Morris side near me. This is near me. Five star rating. Great quotes, brilliant dancers, brilliant musicians and enthusiasm. Oh, this is fine. Must join. And then when I click about overview, find some more nice photos, get a feel for, oh, it is a mixed side, kind of the same age as me. Uh, as you can see the musicians in the, in the background. Uh, look at some more photos and there are also some more videos if you follow a bit more. So that's a great team finder. But what's the name of this team finder? It's Google Business Profile. And we can all use this for free. There's another search, Morris Hyde in Glastonbury. You get Glastonbury Board of Morris with a five star rating again. So why wouldn't you create one of these? Because we know that people do search for restaurants near me. Why wouldn't they search for Morris Hyde's near me? Would you miss out if your side is not included in this list? And we have a document which describes how to go and do it. When I say, why wouldn't you do it? Well, that's a bit of extra work. 10 minutes or so to fill in some forms and upload some images. If your practice venue changes, you might need to, to remember to do this. And if you practice in a number of different locations, well, yes, these are implementation issues, but not a significant barrier to using it. Here's another one for Rivington Morris, which again has a five star. And these five star people make decisions based upon positive rating. So could we work collaboratively give reviews for sides that we like and be open and transparent because you can see who gave this five star review. And you might say, am I allowed to review my own side? Can we do this? If you click on this review, well, I wrote it and I can stand by this. I remember seeing them in the 1980s and they were really great. Still know a number of them are still going. Um, and I've made 19 reviews and you can see the other reviews that I've made. So why don't we, so you for your side, you can add, create one and add photos and videos. But even if you don't want to do this, you can add reviews for, for other sides, working collaboratively, helping them. Why don't you just say, all right, I'm gonna write five reviews for some sides and say some nice things about them and encourage others to do this, not just the people reading this video, but other members of your side. This would be really good for the community promoting Morris. Going back to Team Finder, it's not just about the words, it's about the videos as well. So we encourage you to use photos and videos. Photos, by the way, if you know Dorset Moriarty, he may take some great photos and just give credit to him. He'd be happy for the greater exposure. If you do upload videos, make sure the links work. You need to give a correct form of the link, so it's where you need to check that that works. If it doesn't get in touch with me, I can give some advice. Um, and here's another example from was it, Ghost and uh, Gallopers. Two really nice videos, a montage of uh, lockdown videos and a use of GoPro. That's really creative and different. So look at what other people are doing. And one of the great thing is the diversity of ways in which people are using this technology. We're not all the same. Morris dancers have this great diversity of a tradition and we can demonstrate this diversity in our online presence. I'll cover more about video in the second talk. Bit of uh, some notes on searching. Google has a monopoly. This is global, 91.6% of, of, of the market. Uh, other search engines might not index all the Morris Fed websites or might give strange results. And possibly they could be better because Bing now has AI searching. I just discovered this uh, yesterday, looking at some of the results. Uh, some search techniques, hashtag, if you put things in quotes, the page must contain those sets of characters. If you don't have the quotes, it will try and give a guess. You can have two things in quotes must contain this word or this phrase and these words, 
or must contain this and something like that if there's anything around. It can, without the quotes, it can try and work out parse words, but sometimes that can be ambiguous. Sheffield Girls Can is a hashtag used by Sheffield Steel Sword, I think it is, but that could also be Sheffield Girls Scan. And these things, hashtags, finish if there's at any uh, punctuation. So alphanumeric characters only. And on the MorrisFed website, here are some of the things that we use. So with Google searches, can go directly to the home page, Team Finder directly to a Team Finder, 79 hits for all of Zoom recordings and other ones. And well, these can be used in combination, not yet fully working because we need more sides to add the, the details. But as an example, if you're looking at teams called ladies or girls or lasses, you can do a search for a quote hash Morris team name quote ladies get three results or one result. But there's only um, a few dozen sides have got such information. As we get more information put in, it gets better. Just as I said, for network services, get better as there's more content and there's more links. It's very true. And so my vision is based upon some work I did in 2022 for the Bridport Folk Festival websites. I made a series of videos of the different sides that were, were appearing there. Um, and I'll talk about that a bit later, but also finding sides. So, I said there's some words there, if you want to find a Morris side, you could go to the Team Finder service, but people don't so much click links if there's a search box. They like filling in things in a search box. So here's if you type in Clog Morris sides, you get this, you haven't left the website, you're just here and you can quickly see such things and you'll notice which one am I going to click on. Well, these have got photos there. They might seem more appealing than, than this. And um, although Green Willow has a nice summary there. So that's really, really good. So there are some ways in which all of these things can be improved, but this is the basics. And wouldn't it be great if every folk festival had the option of including, it's just two lines of code for their website. And this provides an additional feature facility for the, for the website. So what I would like to do is what I said earlier this year was if we had 200 sites with a, with a profile, it would be worth rolling it out. And we're almost there, I'm pleased to say. So to conclude digital marketing, yeah, we'll, we know it's important. Um, and we need information that's easily found on Google. Use of user personas can help you creating your profile and hashtags for your site and about your site can also be useful. And so for all the Morris Fed sites, there's a rich team finder profile infrastructure is in place. We've, we've done the technical work, we just need your content. And the content that you provide on the Team Finder can also be used in other digital services. Your hashtags and your summaries can be used on your website, on your Google business profile and various social media services. I hope this has been of interest to you. Thank you.